स्टूडेंट्स होप यू विल बी फाइन आई मोहम्मद फजील शहजाद प्रोड्यूसिंग द कंप्यूटर लेसन फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ टुडे इज ट्वेंटी मे टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वेनसडे आई फील दैट यू हैव अ कंप्लीट सेटिसफेक्शन ग्रेटिफिकेशन ऑफ योर कॉन्सेप्ट रिगार्डिंग प्रीवियस टॉपिक दैट वॉज अबाउट द डिफ्रेंसिएशन बिटवीन आइडेंटिफाइंग सेल एंड एक्टिव सेल सो इफ यू हैव एनी क्यूरी रेलिवेंट टू दैट कॉन्सेप्ट दैन सेंड मी टेक्स इन शाला विल रिस्पॉन्ड Wherefore, in obedience to the previous topic and our daily lesson plan that is already being imparted to you of the month, we will go ahead from the size of the spreadsheet and how to fill the columns and rows from page number ninety-eight to ninety-nine. So, move on to the next slide. Let's have our objectives. The first objective is students will be able to analyze the worksheet in the workbook. that has certain rows and columns the second objective is describe the windows sideways to view additional columns as well as up and down the third objective is students will be able to interpret the steps to filling columns and rows in series of numbers from 1 to 7 that is the thing and these are three objectives that we have to cover inshallah in will in that lecture clear so now move on the next slide that is really very important fact and important thing that we have to remember in our all the definitions and statements and that is very important with respect to our mcqs short questions long questions as well in the board exams the thing is that each worksheet in a workbook has 16000 Three hundred eighty-four columns and one million forty-eight thousand five hundred seventy-six rows. So we have to remember that thing clearly. Now move on the next slide. What is about the size of spreadsheet and the specification? What is about the size of spreadsheet? Each worksheet has again sixteen thousand three hundred eighty-four columns and one million forty-eight thousand five. 576 rows work area is like a movable window yes what is about the work area the interface of the software where we have to perform some actions some procedures we have to do our tasks the interface like the browser to which we can interact with the multiple components multiple tools so that area will be movable the user can move the window sideways to view additional columns the user can move the window sideways to view additional columns as well as up and down to view additional rows clear the user can move the window sideways to view additional columns as well as up and down to view additional rows clear it means that we can scroll our mouse we can scroll uh, the wheels up or down or right or left to changes or to apply the changes on the page on multiple directions to move and to perform various operations in various ways so that is the thing the picture that is appearing on the rightmost side that is about some specification the first line is consisting on the specification of rows and columns the second thing is 255 characters we can put on one cell and we have 409 points where we can enter data in various ways that is the thing appearing on your textbook do you know that you can rename a worksheet you know you can rename your worksheet in uh, in various ways and we have some multiple steps to rename the worksheet the same and the single one step that is very effective is that you can rename a worksheet for this click the sheet tab click the sheet tab that will appear in the bottom side of the page 
and then you want to rename select rename in the shortcut menu type in name and then press enter key simple is that that if you want to rename a worksheet you know we have studied the differentiation between the worksheet and workbook so that is the communication about the worksheet that if you want to rename your worksheet then for this right click the sheet tab the sheet tab will appear on the left most side of the bottom of the page and then we have by default three worksheet will appear on the work area that will be the move movable so now after rename the first tab you will apply the rename button and then you want to rename select rename in the shortcut menu type in name and press enter so that is the thing move on the next slide filling columns sorry how we can apply the filling columns the following are the steps to fill a series of number from 1 to 7 how we can fill series of number from 1 to 7 enter 1 in cell a1 clear you can better understand what is the meaning of a1 we have talked it about the uh, previous day that a1 means the first column and first row clear now enter 1 in cell a1 and 2 in cell a2 below it clear now next thing will select the two cells position the mouse pointer on the fill handle at the bottom right corner and drag it downwards through a7 i'm again repeating that statement select the two cells position the mouse pointer on the fill handle at the bottom right corner and drag it downward through a7 clear after that the cells will be filled with series from 1 to 7 clear when you will drag from a1 to a7 then the cells will be filled with series from 1 to 7 and you can open the drop down menu at the bottom right corner and select another option clear you can open the drop down menu at the bottom right corner and select another option you know cells are filled with odd numbers by entering 15 in cell a3 and 17 in cell b3 and then dragging the fill handle to the cell f3 so it is understood that the numbers will be odd because the position is from left to right and the source to destination and you have applied 15 and 17 so obviously the next number will be 19 clear so that is the thing that you can fill your columns and your rows automatically by doing dragging or dropping from the source to destination clear now move on the next slide that is the table of worksheet spreadsheet sorry so you can better understand again about how we can identify the cell how we can identify different type of cells that is the spreadsheet you can say it as the sample the example of spreadsheet now we have what is on the b2 we have eraser red box red cell will appear on the b2 because we have different uh, scenarios we have different sequence of uh, you can say it as alphabetical order alphabetical column and numeric rows 
we have alphabetical columns and numerical rows what type of alphabetical column a is alphabet and a is representing pencil pins and ruler b is alphabetical column and representing mouse eraser and table c is alphabetical column and representing laptop pen and holder while one is numerical first row that is representing pencil mouse and laptop second thing is two is numerical row representing pins razor and pens and on the four or third thing is fourth numerical row that we have ruler table holder so we have numerical rows and alphabetical columns that is representing the certain specific values so now move on the next thank you so much so if you have any query any problem to the relevant topic you will send your query inshallah i will respond thank you so much allah hafiz